Welcome to AutoCar India Quick News, where we keep you up to speed with all the latest happenings around the automotive world. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we make a new upload. We'll start this week's news with Maruti Suzuki that has unveiled its new mid-size SUV, the Grand Vitara. Maruti might be late to the mid-size SUV party, but it's finally here with the Grand Vitara and the promise is of a proper rival to the likes of Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Volkswagen Tiguan, Skoda Kusak, MG Aster and Nissan Kicks. The Grand Vitara has been co-developed with Toyota and is a sister model to the Toyota Urban Cruiser Highrider that debuted a few weeks ago. Both models will be built at Toyota's plant in Karnataka and are identical in their underpinnings. However, in looks, you won't confuse the two SUVs. The Grand Vitara sports new-age Suzuki styling and features a tri-LED DRL and split headlamps arrangement. With a generous dose of chrome at the grille, there's plenty of cladding at the sides too, with squared-off wheel arches around the 17-inch precision-cut alloy wheels. At the back, the Grand Vitara features the increasingly common element of an LED strip that connects the tail lights. The reflectors and reverse lights are housed in the rear bumper. It's inside that the Grand Vitara and the High Rider are near identical. The dashboard is common, as are the soft touch materials on the dash, four brown leather upholstery and a high standing 9 inch touchscreen. In terms of features too, there are no differences. Maruti has equipped the fully loaded Grand Vitara with ventilated seats, a heads up display, digital instruments for the hybrid version, wireless charging, ambient lighting and a panoramic sunroof which is a first for Maruti. In terms of safety, the fully loaded Grand Vitara comes equipped with six airbags, front and rear disc brakes with ABS, hill descent control, tire pressure monitoring system, vehicle stability control and more. In line with Maruti's powertrain strategy, the Grand Vitara is a petrol-only model, though both engines on offer get some level of hybridization. As standard, the Grand Vitara comes powered by a 1.5-litre four-cylinder mild hybrid petrol engine that produces 103 horsepower and 136 newton meters of torque. The electric motor provides mild assist under acceleration. Gearbox options include a 5-speed manual and a 6-speed automatic, and there's also a 5-speed manual with Suzuki's all-grip, all-wheel drive system. The second powertrain is a strong hybrid that comprises of a 92 horsepower, 1.5 litre three cylinder engine, and an 80.2 horsepower electric motor. In hybrid mode, peak power stands at 115 HP. However, the number of great interest is a 27.97 km per litre fuel economy figure made possible by an electric only mode. The Grand Vitara will be available through Maruti's Nexa retail network, and prices for the model will come at models launch in September. You can see the Grand Vitara in a bit more detail by clicking the video link above. And while you're at it, do let us know if you think Maruti will be able to crack the mid-size SUV segment with the Grand Vitara. Over the week, Maruti Suzuki also updated the Espresso with an upgraded petrol engine and more features. Out goes the Espresso's older K-Series K10B engine and comes in the 1.0-litre K10C that gets dual jet technology and dual variable valve timing. The new engine produces 67 horsepower and 89 newton meter of peak torque, down 1 HP and 1 Nm versus the older engine. However, the headline figures are for economy. The Espresso Automatic gets a 5-speed AMT, which is rated at 25.3 kpl, up 17% over the outgoing model, while the 5-speed manual delivers up to 24.76 kpl, which is an improvement of 14%. With the engine update, the Espresso also gets additional features such as electrically adjustable wing mirrors for the higher spec VXI and VXI Plus variants and a cabin air filter. A key safety inclusion is the ESC with hill hold assist as standard on the automatic variants, which makes the Espresso the most affordable car in India with an ESC. Citroen has launched its new C3 with the prices starting at 5.71 lakh rupees. The C3 is French car maker's first mass product for India. Pricing ranges between 5.71 lakh and 8.06 lakh rupees ex showroom, which means that the C3 slots in between the premium hatchbacks and the compact SUVs. Citroen calls the C3 a hatchback with a twist, and competition includes models like the Maruti Ignis and Tata Punch. On the face of it, C3 dons a funky and a quirky look, 
with some familiar Citroen design cues like the prominent chrome chevron integrated to run across the width of the front grille, color-coded inserts on the bumpers, LED DRLs, plastic cladding along the sides and a wraparound taillight arrangement at the back. Even the interior has a funky vibe to them with a dimpled effect dashboard panel that can be optioned between orange and anodized grey colors with a large 10-inch touchscreen with wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. All models of the C3 get a digital speedometer and manual AC controls. Where the C3 is lacking is in creature comforts that are expected on a modern car. On the list of emissions is a tachometer, rear windscreen wiper and defogger, powered wing mirror adjustment and a day and night IR VM and a central lock and unlock button. In terms of safety, the C3 gets dual airbags, rear parking sensors and seatbelt reminders for the passengers. The C3 is on offer with two petrol engines. The range starts with a 1.2-litre three-cylinder naturally aspirated unit that makes 82 horsepower and 150 Nm of torque and comes coupled to a 5-speed gearbox, while a powerful 1.2-litre three-cylinder turbo petrol unit is also available. The latter engine produces 110 horsepower and 190 Nm of torque and comes equipped with a 6-speed manual gearbox. An automatic transmission is not available at the moment. To know more about the C3, click on the link in the description below to watch our review of the new Citroen. Mahindra has revealed the prices for Scorpio N's automatic and all-wheel drive variants. After a big bang launch for the manual gearbox version of the Scorpio N last month, Mahindra has now announced the prices for the automatic and all-wheel drive variants. The automatic variants have been priced at a premium of 1.96 lakh rupees over the equivalent manual versions. The prices for the automatic variants start at 15.45 lakh rupees for the 2 liter petrol Z480 7 seater with the 2 liter Z8L80 priced at rupees 23.9 lakh rupees. Here is a complete variant breakup for your reference. The automatic gearbox on offer is a 6 speed torque converter and is available in both diesel and petrol guises. However, the four-wheel drive can only be had with a diesel drivetrain coupled with both manual and automatic gearboxes. The base level Z2 trim doesn't get either of the automatic and the four-wheel drive options. Furthermore, the Z6 petrol variant will not be getting the automatic transmission as an option. Mahindra has initiated the Add to Cart feature on its website which enables prospective buyers to register their interest in specific variants and test drive the vehicles at Mahindra showrooms. Bookings will commence on 30th July and the deliveries will start at the end of September. Mahindra will also give a glimpse into its future lineup with the reveal of five born electric concepts on August 15. The car maker had formally teased three concepts but the latest teaser shows five models of different sizes and silhouettes. The teaser suggests four of the five SUVs will sport a coupe-like roofline, while the fifth model appears to be an EV iteration of Mahindra's current flagship SUV, the XUV700. The EVs will have C-shaped LED signature lamps both at the front and at the back as a distinguishable factor. We'll be at the reveal of the concepts at Mahindra's UK Design Center, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for the latest updates as they happen. BMW has launched the 530i 50 Yare edition. BMW's celebration of the 5 years of the M division continues with the arrival of a special edition 5 series. Like the M340i and the 630i M Sport 50 Yare editions, the 530i Yare edition comes with certain visual embellishments. However, it remains mechanically unchanged. In the 530i's case, the power comes from a 2-litre petrol engine that makes 248 horsepower and 350 Nm of torque. For the exteriors, the special edition comes with four exclusive paint schemes namely Carbon Black, Bermina Grey Amber, Pythonic Blue and Alpine White along with darkened LED headlamps, a gloss black look for the kidney grille and the window surrounds. The sides house the 18-inch black alloy wheels with red brake calipers. Other highlights are the Retro M emblems that can be seen on the front and the rear hubcaps. On the inside, the general layout is the same, albeit with some subtle additions like the Cognat upholstery with contrast stitching for the sports seats, a piano black finish on the center console, and a black ceramic surround for the controls. 530i 50 Yare M edition is priced at 67.5 lakh rupees X showroom, and BMW is set to release seven more special edition models to continue the 50-year celebrations of the M brand.
Petrol heads rejoice. Porsche has launched the Cayenne Turbo GT in India. Porsche's most powerful SUV is here and is priced at 2.57 crore rupees for its suitors. The Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT has bragging rights being the fastest SUV at Nürburgring. Its 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 petrol engine produces 640 horsepower and 850 newton meter of torque, made it to an 8-speed torque converter automatic gearbox. This arsenal is enough to propel the Turbo GT from 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds all the way up to an electronically limited speed limit of 300 kph. The Turbo GT sits 17mm lower, sports a 15% stiffer suspension and a retuned anti-roll stabilization system versus the standard Cayenne Turbo. Footwear comprises of Pirelli P0 Corsa performance tires designed specifically for Turbo GT while front and rear carbon ceramic disc brakes are also part of the package. The Turbo GT sits on top of the Cayenne range and comes only in the coupe body style. Compared to the standard Turbo Coupe which is also available in India, the GT gets reworked bumpers with larger cooling ducts and a new lip spoiler up front. The sides sport a new set of gold satin finished 22 inch alloy wheels and carbon mirror caps. The rear now gets a new modified roof spoiler with new carbon fiber side mounted wing elements and a carbon fiber rear diffuser. These elements help improve the downforce by 40 kg at the top speed. On the inside, the general layout remains largely the same, but not without certain changes like the new sports steering wheel with a sports response button and sports seats. The Turbo GT can be equipped with a GT interior package that brings in several Alcantara and leather embellishments. Which of the closely related mega performance SUVs would you have in your dream garage? The Lamborghini Urus, the Audi RS Q8 or the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT? Let us know in the comment section below. Mercedes-Benz is set to launch the EQS electric luxury limousine in India. Mercedes has announced an August 24 launch for the EQS and that the model will be brought to India as an import in EQS 53 AMG guys to start with. The locally assembled EQS 580 will follow later. The EQS 53 has a slippery aerodynamically enhanced silhouette which has a drag coefficient of 0.23, just like the regular 580 models. The front houses a closed-off grille with characteristic AMG Pan America graphics flanked by digital LED headlamps. The side features one bow lines and a cap forward design with aerodynamically optimized lightweight alloy wheels. The rear tapers off with a 3D helix light treatment that runs across the full width of the hatch. The rear bumper also houses a diffuser with 6 longitudinal fins. On the inside, the hype is real with the huge hyperscreen running the latest MBUX platform. It is set in a zero-layer dashboard spanning 56 inches and the panel houses a 17.7-inch OLED central display and two 12.3-inches display for the passenger and the driver. The EQS 53 gets a different AMG-specific 3-spoke twin-slatted steering wheel and the AMG-specific graphics on the hyperscreen. The EQS 53 packs a 107.8 kWh lithium-ion battery that can be charged at the speeds of up to 200 kW with a range of 526 km to 580 km as set by the WLTP standards. The twin electric motors put out 649 horsepower in the standard Mercedes AMG EQS 53 4MATIC Plus, whereas the ones that are fitted with the Dynamic Plus package have a power output of 751 horsepower in the race start mode. Kia India had reason to celebrate crossing the 5 lakh sales mark over the past week. Kia has achieved the milestone in less than 3 years of commencing sales in India. Kia's India arm now contributes to 6% of its sales globally. The biggest seller from Kia India's lineup is the Seltos, which accounts for almost 59% of its sales so far, while the Sonic Compact SUV share stands at 32%. Kia has also delivered over 30,000 cars in since its launch in February this year, while the Carnival sells about 400 units a month on an average. Hyundai has opened bookings for the Tucson. The Tucson was unveiled earlier this month and the bookings have now commenced at Hyundai's premier signature outlets for a sum of 50,000 rupees. The Tucson range will be offered in two trim levels. The platinum version will get a host of tech and convenience features such as dual 10.25 inch touchscreen and safety equipment like the ESC Hill Start Assist and 6 airbags. The higher spec signature trim will get Hyundai's latest SmartSense ADAS system which features forward collision warning, lane keep assist, 
smart cruise control, lane departure warning and rear cross traffic collision warning. Additionally, the signature model gets power adjustable seats, heated and ventilated seats along with memory function for the driver's seat. The Tucson will also get four driving modes like the sand, mud and snow terrain modes. Now moving on to the two-wheelers. Aether has launched the 450 Plus and 450X with longer range in India. Aether Energy has launched the Gen 3 450X and 450 Plus electric scooters at 1.39 lakh rupees and 1.117 lakh rupees respectively ex showroom. The biggest change in the newer variants is the move to a larger 3.7 kilowatt hour battery pack that comes in place of the outgoing model's 2.9 kilowatt hour battery. There's no change to the power figures though. Thanks to the larger battery pack, the Aether 450X's ARAI tested range has increased to 146 km compared to older versions 116 km. However, the real world range is expected to increase to 105 km in eco mode from the earlier 85 km. The 450X also gets a warp mode that upgrades the motor's output to 6.2 kWh. The 450 Plus on the other hand sees its ARAI range increase up to 108 km from the earlier 100 km, while the real range expected is to be around 85 km on the eco mode from the earlier ones 70 km. Other changes include a wider rear tyre for both the models, more durable new single cast aluminium rear view mirrors and the touchscreen has been enhanced with a 2GB RAM. Thank you very much indeed for watching. For more automotive content, stay tuned to the channel.